We have a big problem. Our small business is about to completely run out of inventory. I only have 10 walnut charcuterie boards left here. We need more charcuterie boards now. business sells cutting and charcuterie boards to business owners who want to give their clients a really nice gift. They buy a set of boards up front and then anytime they need one shipped out, they just let us know what they need engraved on it and we ship it out the next day. Like many of you, we started building and selling these out of our garage and actually this fulfillment center was in our living room. But now that we've made about $75,000 selling these boards, we now operate out of a commercial shop. And we have documented this entire journey from the beginning on YouTube. So for those of you who wanna go on a YouTube binge, here's a playlist for you right here. think we probably sound pretty dramatic. Like why is that such a big deal that we're building charcuterie boards? But let me tell you why this matters. Every board that we build is sold before we even build it. Our clients don't need all the boards that they've purchased as soon as they check out. They only need, I don't know, maybe one every couple weeks or so. We just need enough on hand so that when they need one, we have some available to pack and ship out for them. And just 10 boards remaining is cutting it way too close.
All right, so now that I know about how many boards I'm gonna produce in this batch, let's go ahead and do a price breakdown. It's been a long time since we've done a price breakdown on YouTube. So this batch of boards is gonna produce around 116 charcuterie boards. That's the current count now. I may have one or two in here that are bad, but that we'll just go with 116. We sell these boards mostly. Again, all of these numbers are rough estimates. If you want to correct my math, go for it. Materials costs. When you add up the cost of the lumber, even the waste, the finish, the leather strap we put through the handle, all of our boxes and packaging and the shipping label, our total materials cost on this batch for 116 boards is $4,381. The labor cost. I produced 116 boards right right at 30 hours of labor. If I pay myself $30 an hour for labor, that's $900 in labor cost for these boards. But that's not all. You also have to subtract out from this batch of boards, the sales commission. We have salespeople selling these, so we need to pay their commission to sell them. And right now our sales associates are earning about 15% commission. So that works out to $2,227 and some odd cents. So the fun part. 116 boards sold at about $128 a piece is gonna bring us $14,848. When you subtract out the materials costs, the labor costs, and the commission, we're left with a total profit remaining of $7,339.80, just on this one batch of boards alone. That works out to about a 55% margin, which is actually pretty good for a, a cheap commodity like this. I know this is a lot of math and you don't have to do this all yourself. We have a pricing calculator for you to use on our website. Just go to jennydavis.com slash price my work and you can plug in your numbers and figure out how much you're gonna make on a batch of boards. It's really nice to have seven grand in our pockets every time one of our salespeople sells a batch of boards. A lot of people get really mad when we do price breakdowns and I just don't understand that. If, if you think that our charcuterie boards are pretty basic and boring, yeah, I do too. Imagine what you could do with a well-designed charcuterie board. I just, it, just the thought that some people go towards anger and jealousy instead of opportunity for themselves just blows my mind. Anyway, for those of you that are angry, stop being angry. Go out and get some for yourself because there's plenty of money out there for you. If you really like that price breakdown and you wanna see more content like that for us, it tends to not do super great on YouTube, you can jump over to the Stud Stack. That's where we do all of our cost breakdowns. We show all our books and anything that we can to help those people in the Stud Stack. It's a community of makers who are also running businesses. And we're way more willing to open up and share what works for us in a more detailed format uh, over there in the Stud Stack. So link below, studstack.net. You wanna sign up if you're running a business. That ought to hold us over for at least a little while. On to the next set of boards. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the game.